Be careful of these spider webs and cobwebs up here. Trina Hawkins has lived at her apartment at Farmington Place for more than a year and a half. Climbing the steps to her apartment, her anger grows just as high. It's probably been sitting there for maybe three months. Mold that will make you feel sick immediately. I've put in work orders to let them know nothing has been done. Basically, I have to get uh, bleach and get a towel, and I have to try to scrub it to get as much as I can to get come off. It's not working. No. Multiple work orders from leaky pipes to a security door. And if that's not scary enough, look at her toilet. You flush it, goes down, and then the water fills back up. And then leaves your toilet all nasty. Outside isn't much better. Weeds were growing from the tennis court, and the pool has been shut down for months. She's had enough. I sent pictures. I went over there and showed them face to face on my phone. Nothing has been done. And another tenant said they had similar reactions in recent months. One of them recorded this exchange on Facebook Live when a previous manager eventually called the police on him. Leave the office right now because you are harassing me. And if you are still taping me, I'm going to ask you to stop or I'm going to get the police here. Hawkins hasn't gone that far yet but she's not sure what else to do. Hoping and praying that once my lease is up, I'm gone. But in downtown Wichita, inside the Reagan building, there is a division that could help. If you make a request of your landlord, do it in writing, because then you have a document trail. Um, it avoids, you know, face-to-face -face uncomfortable confrontations. It li outlines specifically what your concerns are. Kaylin Nethercott is the Neighborhood Inspection Administrator for the Metropolitan Area Building and Construction Department. How do you guys work? Anytime there's an issue with the interior of a, of a structure, whether it's an apartment or a house that's rented, Tenants can always call us. Her division has 15 investigators, which opened more than 9,000 cases across the city after tenants complained. But she fears that number should be much higher. We are a resource for tenants. Um, we can also work with landlords if they need to make repairs that need to be done in a valid building permit. Three weeks after we visited Farmington Place, we were invited back by new management. Though the weeds haven't gone yet, the new guy in charge promised big changes. The owner bought the property about three months ago and hired me last week. I started yesterday and came into a storm. The parking lot was also being repaved and he promised his site would be renovated. Gutting a complex like this one won't be cheap or easy. Started remodeling units. We're starting with the vacants. He's putting all new appliances, um, new flooring and most of them carpet. Just, it's a significant change or upgrade from what it used to be. Something Hawkins hopes is true as she continues to see mold in her home. What's going on? And I just like answers and it seems like it's not going to happen. We've received hundreds of other complaints from all of you across the entire state about apartment conditions. Keep in mind, just because you sign a lease does not mean you have to live in filth, but you also can't stop paying rent. Kansas Legal Services tells us those are two separate things. So what can you do? Well, you can do what Hawkins did. File everything in writing, all of your complaints. You also have an option to file an action with a court for an injunction and order for repairs. If you live in Wichita, you can also call Nethercott's office. We have numbers and resources online right now at cake.com. Just click on your side. In Hawkins' case, all of this did work, at least sort of. She said maintenance crews finally did fix her toilet last week but it had already been broken for three weeks. She also says she's still waiting for a final plan on the mold problem. I'm Greg Miller, Cake News Investigates.